Hello everybody, welcome to the Wallflower Gamers. I'm your host, Matt DeWarte, and this is my co-host, Coleman Signet! Except... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are playing Blaze It Angels 420. It's already past that date. We haven't filmed a thing. What the... Really? Hold on. You get to load your progress. Oh, right. This game is so weird. In regards to that. We could do it over again. Or we just could do it from the other file. No. But I already wasted that the case. I'd already waste two good intros. Yeah, this isn't our first time doing this. Let's just say that. You feel, you feel, you feel fine mentioning this time, yeah. so we can just. I, 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 I can, this is I, why I'm the host. So I can delete the other one we had. Um, no, just leave it up there. Why? Extra content. It wasn't really that bad either. <laughs> it was. It was George screaming, "Hello!" There you go. Geez, oh, we're just By the way, I just want to let you guys know that I'm really bad at flying games. Much like every other game, I'm just really bad at flying games. That's actually kind of cool. You're up to speed. Let's get her in the air. Now, if you play flying games, the thing that usually will happen Sorry, is that, um... I know you're a button at all, but I hear you ain't the full one of these. Like, if you play flying I games, mean, usually the thing that will happen is that, um... In the, uh... On your joystick, your control stick, up will be down, and down will be up. It's kind of weird, but it's meant to represent, like, the way planes are actually flown. And it's kind of hard for me to get used to. I don't play a lot of flying games, I'll tell you that. So if I'm the one at the helm of this playthrough, this is going to be one rocky playthrough, I'll give you that much. Nope. Nope. Just do it. Just do it one. No, what are you doing? It's a beautiful day for flying. Don't purposely try crashing. I'm not. Again, I told you I'm really bad at flying games. No. Doing the first time. No, I'm actually not. This is a pretty cool game, though. Honestly, this game is pretty underrated. It's a World War II flying game. You don't really see a lot of those. Most of the World War II games you fight are just like shooters. This kind of, this kind of, this one kind of slipped under the radar for a lot of people. It even had a sequel. It almost feels like a movie. I go higher than me now. I go higher than that. Way higher. Oh, oh, oh. Up, up. Now it's not turned on. No. Now hold it. Left stick. Left this is trigger. Cool. And then go. And then go into the church. This must be the appeal of pilot wings. No, oh, hold, 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 left trigger. Hold, hold, hold. They got an army base over yonder too. Beats the heck out of the forts I used to make. Right, stop, 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 stop it. Release, release, release. Where are you supposed to land? Just turn and head no. towards the base. They do need to make a, more of these flying games. I honestly like games. I mean, I admire games for dogfighting in them because I, I, I really do like the concept of plane fighting. And I do really like the some of the World War II planes used in the fighting. It is a concept that has always interested me since I you know, read about it in school. What's surprising about this game is that the plane you fly now, they call it Gladiator, it didn't really have fighter plane. I don't know them. too much about them. I mean, well, my knowledge on them is rusty. I remember we used to learn about them in class, and I was always very interested in seeing the different kinds of planes that they used, um, their flaws. I own it. I own it. I own it. I own it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? Do you know? Oh. Damn it! I mean, we must have reached a checkpoint or something. Nope, pull the trigger. I was in the pub with a couple of other pilots and they were talking about how they can bring their 
Hold up for I got it. What is it? Nice. Well, today is what is it? Revenge of the Fifth. Star Wars is yesterday, wasn't it? There's two Star Wars days in there. Yeah. May the Fourth be with you. Also, may the Fifth be with you. Or Revenge of the Fifth. Let's turn and head towards the base. I'll have to trigger. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. No! I wasn't meant to do that! Damn it! Okay, let's just do this again. So I was in the pub with a couple of other pilots and they we're, were talking about, about how they can bring their planes around while keeping an eye on the other guy. You ever learn how to do that? Oops. Pull and hold the left trigger to locate the church in the village. So don't pull it too long. Keep your eyes on the objective. Good. Now just fly over the church while you're Just hold down until you see the church and then done, okay? That's it. I will never get over how cool this game looks. I mean, the graphics may be outdated now, but. It still looks rather cool to fly over the, uh, I really one don't. of these old... I'm not happy. Why not? You can't do shit in this game. I told you I'm not good at flying games. I said that from the beginning. I said that even at the start of the video. Seriously, you're more doing than I am. Way worse. I've said that. These require more precise thick controls than normal games. I, mean, I just try to target. Time to learn them. Try fly the plane while holding the left trigger. Keep your eyes on the objective. Good. See, an airplane is straight. Good. Now just fly towards the military base. We'll go down. Try fly the plane while holding the left, left trigger. trigger. Keep your eyes on the objective. Go up, because they're not supposed to land. Drop fly the plane while holding the left trigger. Keep your eyes on right the now, objective. Fly three, fly three, fly three. Fly three, fly three. Drop fly the plane while holding the left trigger. Keep your eyes on the objective. Let me go so lower. So go down. Go down. Go low enough, stop. I get it! Go far go away from it and turn around. Stop. Tell me you're playing. Up, 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 up. Is this yes. <laughs> I mean, I told, I, I've said Airport. this before. Hold I Hold that trigger, hold that trigger. Not. <laughs> hold that, up, up. Hold that trigger. There, go over there. I've said this before. God damn, That's how they do that in World War II. Can I just take this? I got this. You want me to actually be a part of this game, I do need to play the tutorial. All, all pilots in World War II don't, don't, are not, are not going, whoa, I'm not this one. I'm like, alright. You think there was not a single pilot in World right. War II bring up, bring up. That, that, that didn't know how to fly a plane? Or that have never flown a plane. You think that there's not a single pilot who didn't know what they were doing go and down, didn't know? Go down a bit. No. Do both hands, dude. Hold that trigger. Good. No. No. Up. 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 And now for the fun part. Up more. Stop. Stop. Release. Stop. Stop. Release. Turn around. Turn around. 
Use the stick. Left trigger, trigger, left trigger. Just hold the right trigger to fire. Targets will be lifted up as we go in. You can go faster than that. Yeah. You're shooting nothing, man. Just no bounce. No, shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. That trigger holding down. Go fast. I got this one. Shooter. Can I just do the wing down? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Are we gonna play the sequel for Wallflower? Is what I'm wondering. Blazing Angel Suit, yeah. Uh, right stick. I was gonna say you were about to crash. At least you know what you're doing. Well, yeah, I played the few more in this little more than once. You, know, you played more flying games than I have, probably. I played zero flying games. That's hard to believe. But yeah. well, your flying's not that great. <laughs> Better than mine, but. I almost feel like watching MASH <laughs> or Hogan's Heroes. You're just gonna stay next to that guy, aren't you? I just said it once. No, I meant. This game is very, very, very cinematic. And if you're looking for this game, which I doubt most people are, you can find it for very cheap. It's not very expensive. Granted, if you know about this game, you probably already have it. Nice. What the? Dude!
failing the training now mission? The part. Boyer knows at the military base. They're going to be replacing the balloons over there anyway, so what we can test out the guns on the old girl and have a little fun while we're at it. There's a target now. You see it? Why don't we go give that balloon what for? Just pull the right trigger to fire. The target will be lifted up as we go in. <laughs> go get another one. Fresh target, 12 o'clock. Right below me. I don't know. Just go at like speed a little bit. Turn. Shoot the bitch. Wow, did he just talk over himself? <laughs> That's funny. brought it up. Something weird. What? They're making an emoji movie. The bad thing? It's a weird thing. Why? You see any concept of? You look at emojis, right? No. Well. Then well, this conversation just got completely dropped. Basically, if you were to look at the concept of emojis, it's like, do you think you can make a movie out of it? Is what I'm saying. Hey. Uh, I know what they look like. Um. Well, they're basically like little icons you use to send to people on your phone. Like this. Like these.
Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Matt, you can't take me, dude. What? You can't take me in the video. Yeah. I was just gonna say, yeah. Emojis are like. these. I know. Yeah, do you think they can make a movie out of those, is what I'm saying? They probably could. I mean, Hollywood has. I mean, Sony has some good writers. I don't say Hollywood, I don't think it's a Hollywood movie. Sony has some good writers, but. Um, yeah, they It's just that do. there doesn't seem to be anything there for a movie concept. Yes. Right. There really doesn't seem to be anything there for a movie concept. I mean, maybe a short film, but a whole hour-long movie? I mean, the creative process has no bounds, truly, but for, um... But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, the creative bounds have no... The creative process has no real bounds as to what you can and can't do, but it just, like, I think there hasn't been a movie about it for a reason, and it doesn't really give people much of an idea for anything. But, you know, it's Sony, they could probably make it work. More than likely, it's probably actually going to be really good. I'm getting something to eat. Yeah, 